हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द वीडियो नंबर थ्री मोशन इन वन डायमेंशन सेकंड ए पार्ट ऑफ नाइन स्टैंडर्ड फिजिक्स आई एम योर फिजिक्स टीचर राजेश सो फर्स्ट विल स्टार्ट विद दिस यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड वेन द बॉडी इज सेट टू बी मूविंग विद यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड वेन इट कवर्स इक्वल डिस्टेंस इन इक्वल इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम so example is motion of a ball on a frictionless surface second is non uniform or variable speed a body is said to be moving with non uniform and variable speed when it covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time so in this example is that ball moved on a rough surface here example you can note down that ball moving on frictionless surface third one is instantaneous speed instant tenuous speed instantaneous speed means when the body is moving with a certain speed and we are observing that speed or uh, for a very short interval for a very short interval suppose that you are moving by any vehicle it can be scooty it can be car so one of the meter is there that is speedometer which tells you about the instantaneous speed for a very short interval so formula for this is instantaneous speed is equal to distance traveled by the body by the body in a short interval upon that time interval after this fourth one is average speed average speed average speed is the ratio of total distance 
covered by the body total distance covered by the body or traveled upon total time taken total time taken velocity this is the vector quantity that we have discussed so now we will discuss again the same concept that is uniform velocity so exact definition you can repeat which you have done in uh, case of uniform speed but only the case is here small change you have to make in place of distance you will write displacement so covers equal displacement in equal intervals of time this is for uniform velocity sixth is non uniform or variable velocity in this particular case when the body is moving in circular path so at these positions the direction is continuously changing so magnitude can be constant here magnitude can be constant for example the body is moving with 20 meter per second so that is constant speed but if you consider the concept of direction so it is continuously changing it is continuously changing so direction is variable on the basis of that you can say that this is variable velocity this is variable velocity or non uniform velocity seventh is instantaneous velocity so instantaneous velocity will also remain same as we have done in case of speed but one concept you have to consider that when you are talking about velocity then direction should be fixed same particular particular so next concept is about the acceleration and retardation acceleration and retardation so what is acceleration acceleration means a rate of change of velocity with time so acceleration is represented by the small letter a so that is the ratio of change in velocity upon time taken change in velocity means final velocity minus initial velocity upon time final velocity is always represented by v initial velocity 
is always represented by u upon t so if you will rearrange you will get v is equal to u plus a t this is also called first equation of motion this is also called first equation of motion so acceleration will always come with positive sign and here v is always greater than u but if we go for retardation or you can say negative acceleration in that v will be less than u because its motion is finally retarded so acceleration is equal to v minus u upon t so acceleration will come with a negative sign negative sign after that uniform acceleration and non uniform acceleration uniform acceleration means when the body is changing its velocity so change in velocity that take place equal change in velocity equal change in velocity take place in equal intervals of time equal change in velocity in equal intervals of time here example is when the body falls a free fall of ball under the effect of gravity so acceleration will remain 9.8 meter per second square its gravity will remain same second is non uniform acceleration non uniform acceleration means when the body is changing unequally so you can say that unequal change in velocity in equal intervals of time in equal intervals of time for example motion of car on a hilly road or in a crowded market so in that case its velocity when it is moving in a straight line its velocity is changing unequally in equal intervals of time so with this second a exercise part is over second a part of second chapter motion in one dimension is over you can 
see this video again and again to revise the content and read the content from the book also then easily you can get mastery on the second A part. Okay, thank you.